Hello guys, today we will talk about inserting a lot of data into the database, usually for testing, and how to do it quicker to optimize that. So this is a typical scenario. On one of our demo projects, we worked on such a database table salaries, and we had to see that with 50,000 rows for testing. And this was the most straightforward scenario. So populate the array of 50,000 rows with some random data, and then for each of those rows, we do salary create with eloquent model, right? And the result of that, if I do migrate fresh with seed, is all of the other tables are created really quickly and salaries takes longer. So 50,000 rows. Let's see how much it gets. Okay, it has finished. I've cut down some of the video to save you time, so it's 39 seconds. And remember, it's quite a small table with four fields or so. So we need to do something to optimize that, right? So first thing you can do is to change create into insert, because salary create if you look at Laravel Eloquent documentation, create does a lot of things under the hood. So checks the fillable, adds created add and updated add values, and a lot of logic with Eloquent. But if you do insert, it doesn't check any of that. So insert salary, but then you need to manually add the timestamps, which is fine. So created add now to date time string and updated add as well. These are default values anyway. Okay, and now let's rerun that. We do artisan migrate fresh seed. I remind you it's 39 seconds before, and now let's take a look at current result. Okay, done in 29 seconds. So you see, just from that, we got like 20-30% of the time. So on big amounts of data, it's pretty significant. But what would work even better is so-called chunking. So chunk the array into slices and then process them in batch in slices. Here's how it looks. I've prepared the code already. So chunks is array chunk function. It's PHP function, not Laravel. So we're just manipulating the arrays. So this is array of arrays. And then for each of those chunk, this is array. So this contains 5,000 rows. This is the parameter. And eloquent method insert can accept the array and it will insert all of that data. And let's try that. Running the same fresh seed. 2.56 seconds. Let's check if it was successful. So yes, salary is 50,000 rows. Nothing missing. Everything is correct. And you know why it happens so quickly? Because we change the logic of SQL query. So if we do for each for every record, we have one SQL query for insert for each record. In this case, this one is one SQL query. So we're doing insert on array and it transforms that into insert into the table and then the list of arrays, which makes it one SQL query for 5,000 rows. So in reality, instead of 50,000 SQL calls, we're doing 10 SQL calls. Each of them is big but overall it makes a huge difference in performance. Now this parameter, you need to experiment with that and you may run into some issues with too much data here. So you may need to make this size lower. So experiment with the chunking, but overall I hope it helps you to seed the data faster. And speaking of seeding data, I have another video for you if you wanna continue learning how to seed the data, how to generate those seeds from existing database. And there is a package for that called iSeed. I've shot a separate video to demo how it works. In the corner, you should see the link to that video and I hope to see you guys on other videos.